you already know, man, to getting ready for this fight. Um, you know, we've been training already. Um, you know, we're officially in the house and um, you know, just getting ready for this big fight, you know, the biggest fight of this year. You know, two undisputed uh champions. Um put it on, man, in New York. So, man, you know, you're going to be facing uh, Josh Taylor, June 10th, in uh, your hometown. Am I right? Yes, you already know. Brooklyn boy. Brooklyn boy. So, man, um, if we had to go backwards and talk about, you know, Josh Taylor's last performance against Catterall, what would you have to say? Listen, man, Styles makes fights. You know what I'm saying? We're not taking nothing lightly. We're going to bring entertainment back into boxing, which is very needed right now. And that's all we we going to capitalize on. You know, this is the biggest fight of the year. You know, uh, two undisputed champions. Um, it's hard to see these fights uh, come into tuition. You know what I'm saying? And it's happening. It's happening June 10th, Madison Square Garden. You know, in the, you know the mecca of boxing. You know, um, this will probably be like his ninth or tenth fight there. You know, um, they love him at the Madison Square Garden. Um, you know, he has his uh, his peoples over there. So, you know, we, we're very excited for this fight, you know. And uh, excuse my manners, because I wanted to say salute to you and your son for all the accomplishments that you guys have done in the sport. Such a young age and, you know, in such little time coming into the pro rankings. But, um, you know, going into, um, you know, the middleweight uh division i mean the you know 140 division you know um he first started with campos then you know malting and now uh josh taylor um pivoting back were you able to see campos last fight with brandon lee this weekend yo very competitive you know what i'm saying and that's what's to show uh how my son makes it look so easy you know when um there's nobody in in the game boxing like him you know, he has different dimensions into his fight. It's a fighting style. You know what I'm saying? He could do whatever he wants in that ring. And that's what we more focus at. But we come in to take this dude's head off. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's been talking a lot of trash. And um, and we're going to show everybody why my son takes the toughest fights, the fights that nobody wants. And, you know, we're here to make history, man. We're here to get collect all them belts. And, you know, beating Josh Taylor, bro, uh, makes me train of the year again this year. You know, and the way we're going to beat him is going to be just crazy. Um, I have no doubts. My son is the one that picked this fight. We could have went a little bit easier with Pro Grayers or or anybody else that has the belts, you know, especially the Dominican dude that's fighting Rolando Romero now. We could have went that route. You know what I'm saying? But um, we don't want that, bro. We, you know, we wasn't, we wasn't raised around, you know, greats like uh, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Bernard Hopkin, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, um, all these guys, they were brought up with the, all these guys, you know what I'm saying? And that's why right now, nowadays, people don't care about about belts no more. People only care about social media and the people that are viewing you. Um, but you know what? We, we got to do it the hard way, bro. And it's always been the hard way for me and my son. You know, my son won the Olympic trials. He should have represented the United States in the Olympics at uh, the lightweight division. And uh, that was taken away from him. So we are used to this shit, bro. Um, you know, winning over there the first day against the French dude. Take, they took it off from us. And, you know, it's it's hard, bro. But we're breaking these walls and we want to show the whole world, man, that we ain't giving up, man. And we're going to show the whole world Latinos are the ones that are going to conquer the fucking boxing uh, industry. And uh, we're showing it, you know, is right now is uh, the only ones that are standing is Canelo, uh, my son, and then you got Jesse in the lighter divisions. But, um, you know, that hardly anybody hears about Jesse. Um, but, um, you know, uh, right now it's really Canelo and my son. So we have to give that orgullo, you know, that, that Spanish orgullo to the world that we're still here, you know, and they could count on us that come June 10th, man, we're going to destroy this dude. Um, you know, I told my son, it cannot be competitive. It's got to be just one sided and you could do it, bro. You could do it. Um, you know, Josh Taylor can box like you. He's not faster than you. And you're, you're strong or stronger than this dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, you hit harder and you know, um, I don't take nothing away from, uh, Jack Catterall because he's a great fighter. 
And uh, it wasn't surprising to me to see him, uh, you know, um, put up a good competitive fight. He could have went any, any way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, a lot of people gave the edge to uh, towards uh, Catterall. But to tell you the truth, man, in, in this sport, bro, anything could go. And um, and it's like we're fighting Josh Taylor with all his belts. Like, he hasn't lost to nobody. I was just speaking with Max Kellerman, you know, the other day. Uh, Max Kellerman said on national TV, this is a Hall of Fame fight. We're only 25 years old, bro. This kid doesn't even have 20 fights. It's fucking ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And then you could see where he's at, at what level he's at. You know what I'm saying? Because we're taking all these risks, you know, and people don't understand. When you take big, big risks, you gain a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we already we already in that level where we're taking all these big risks but that making us a better fighter. You know what I'm saying? And it's trusting him. It, it gives him more trust and more belief in himself. Because we're not over there trying to fight Ryan Garcia or trying to fight these guys that have no belts, you know. And that's a big fight, you know, in, in boxing. But in reality, it's not a big fight in accomplishment, you know, based, you know. So um, we're just going to keep on going, bro, because at the end of the day, um, the, 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 the person that's going to be eating the most is the person that's going to be taking the risk. If you don't take no risk, man, you ain't going to be doing nothing in the sport of boxing. So we going after the boogeyman. The boogeyman at 140 is Josh Taylor. Everybody was telling us that that we were scared of uh, of Pagreas, that we didn't want to fight Pagreas. And when the news came that we want that we because it was my son that decided that he wanted to fight Josh Taylor. Um, he had an injury. Look, this is the same. The scenario is the fucking same, bro. When Comey was gonna fight Lomachenko, what happened? He got hurt. Lomachenko had to fight. So instead of Lomachenko fighting Comey, he had to fight us because of the injury. So like two, three months later, he fought us and we we knocked him out in the second round, gave us the opportunity to face Lomachenko. I told myself, we cannot let this guy go. We need to go fight him right away. And that's how that's how we became uh, undisputed, beating Lomachenko. If you go back to the fight, uh, they promoted this fight with Lomachenko, my son, as undisputed, Okay. When my son, at the end of the day, when my son won that fight, they named him undisputed champion of the world. It it, it put him up there in the uh, number five pound for pound, you know. Um, and we was number five pound for pound in in the list, you know. Um, winning the Ring Magazine uh, Award of uh, Best Fighter, and um, and you know my son had you know won five belts that night, you know WBC, WBO, IBF. Uh, WBA and the Ring Magazine. So uh, we are very happy that this, bro, how, things like this don't happen. It's very rare. You know, um, Josh Taylor getting ready to fight Catterall, a fight that I, I believe Josh Taylor really wanted, and he got hurt. And um, it's a blessing, you know, because everything comes to us, you know. So I told my son, this is an opportunity that we need to take you know, uh, we was aiming for Progress, you know, all the Dominican dudes, but um, mostly we wanted Progress. But when we found out that Josh Taylor got hurt, I'm, I, I negotiated with my manager. I said, yo, listen, man, my son wants Josh Taylor, bro. Let's get him. This is the right time to get Josh Taylor. My son um, is coming off uh, two victories, a victory with um, Martin, which everybody doesn't even know who this guy is, but I mean, he beat Mikey Garcia, Garcia yeah. you know, you, you know, um, 